Good morning. And actually it's a good rainy morning here in Old Delhi. And to be honest, I am not too sure if we would be able to do the walk today. But we'll try. And I do have my umbrella. I have an extra one for you. So <laughs> Hopefully, we'll do fine. <laughs> so right now, we are actually hanging out in the Sitaram Bazaar area. Of course, this is an area that we've explored before, but there's a reason we are here. So the thing is, I feel like eating this delicious Indian snack called a kachori and maybe you should have it too but the kachori shop is not open yet look at that arch so it's not open yet and we are waiting in this rainy weather But yeah, join me in this rainy Delhi morning. I'm not sure what is the purpose. Maybe this is telling people that there's a bangle shop here. Probably here in Sitaram Bazaar. So I get a sense that Today's visuals, as you will see, could be a little hazy. Wow, do you notice that? Look at that tree. Where is it planted? That's so interesting. <laughs> but yeah, about the visuals today, they probably would be slightly hazy because of the rain, but we'll see. I think it's about time that our kachori shop would open. So yeah, let's go. Let's eat some kachoris in this nice rainy weather. <laughs> oh my God. I'm already salivating. <laughs> it has become a bit, bit of a ritual for me and I guess bit of a ritual for you as well that we eat and today we are starting the walk with eating so how was it <laughs> did you like the kachori i think for me this is probably one of the best kachoris that i've had anywhere it was just too good and here you see rainy morning breakfast things right by the roadside and as for today's plan i am a little unsure because of the rain but we'll see what we can do and we'll walk towards the khari bauli area So as you can already see, today's walk is a little more indulgent than our average walk <laughs> and I think I would like to blame the weather because the weather is making us a little lazy, it's making us a little hungry. <laughs> so yeah, after the kachori, let's have some tea and then we'll see what we can do. Uh, because this weather is, as I told you earlier, making me doubt how much of fun we would really have today. But hopefully we'll be fine and we won't get too wet. <laughs> but yeah, for now, let's enjoy some good, nice hot tea. Okay, so I think it would be good if I give some more context now so as you've experienced in the last few videos we've been walking in Old Delhi uh, also called Chandni Chowk and exploring different neighborhoods 
this neighborhood is actually wow. Those houses are looking so pretty in the rain. <laughs> so this neighborhood is the Lalkua neighborhood, which we have explored in a previous video. But today we'll just try to walk across this neighborhood towards what's called the Kari Bauli area. And I get a sense that because of the rain and because of the area that we've chosen. Today's video will be more about this energy and the people and not really a lot of pretty places. But then I guess the people can be pretty too. <laughs> we'll see. As you can already see, things are kind of getting intense and crowded <laughs> and loud but we'll be fine don't worry and we'll keep walking until we reach the end of this road or until it starts pouring on us <laughs> and even for Sunday morning this is clearly one of the more crowded areas of Old Delhi. Again, as I mentioned, this area is kind of Lal Kua, I think. It's also called Farsh Khana. Wow, look at that. We found pretty places here as well. That looks like a nice old Haveli, which has been neglected for a while now. This, of course, is a busy busy market on a Sunday morning definitely not something that we were expecting but still it's something that we can make do with and we can enjoy So yeah, that's where we'll walk, but I think you must watch out for the wheeled traffic as well as the traffic on foot, <laughs> as well as the slippery ground, the rains, because this is, I think, one of the most intense slash exciting walks that we seem to be having. <laughs> Or at least I'm trying to overcompensate if you don't see a lot of interesting things here actually. <laughs> but I think yeah I am kind of enjoying this energy, the people and the sheer number of things that are happening. You see that person is trying to sort out the beetle or pan leaves. Of course we've got a lot of vegetable sellers selling We've got this guy sorting out the onions and there's really so much happening. I think this almost feels like a work of art in a way. Chaotic art but still so many people doing so many things in their morning while you and I are just observing and relaxing. I think I like this. So about my previous thought of us being able to observe and relax while the world out there is working hard, I think there's a level of privilege involved in that, right? That we just get to relax and sort of call this art, whereas for these people this is real hard work. Look at her. Trying to be safe from the rain. But yeah, I think this is something very interesting and I'm glad that you're here, that we are doing this walk despite the rains and we are taking in these Sunday morning rainy market visuals here in 
Farsh Khana. I think the place is also called Naya Bas. And to come here, you just have to. Wow. <laughs> Somebody is getting a shave done as well here. As I said, there's so much happening. This has to be art. This is not just a normal Sunday morning. This is Sunday morning art in a little bit of chaos, of course. But yeah, it still feels like art. And yeah, going back to my previous point, you have to walk towards Khari Bauli, which is a prominent spice market here in Old Delhi. And you have to start from the Lal Kua region and you will come here. Or you could just enjoy watching this video and have some fun through the video. <laughs> I think it's one of those mornings and one of those walks that I'm not really sure if I should be speaking because there's so much happening and so many people speaking already, <laughs> also some of them shouting. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. That's a wheelbarrow with rose petals on top. Of course, this wheelbarrow is to carry the goods around in this neighborhood there we go lots of fresh vegetables out there and you cannot help but imagine the possibilities here despite the chaos and just continuing the previous conversation I think it's amazing that despite this chaos and this disorder and these crumbling buildings and crumbling crumbling lanes people are doing their job and they're finding so many economic possibilities they're getting things done I can only imagine how wonderful this place would be or would have been if the authorities would have taken better care and would have maintained it nicely. I think today's visuals and today's walk, it kind of overwhelms me almost. And I think you're feeling the same, right? But this being overwhelmed it's a different kind of being overwhelmed. I mean, it's a positive kind of being overwhelmed because I just want to kind of keep recording like everything. It's not like you're seeing something which is extraordinary. It's almost as if the whole walk is in a way extraordinary, seeing this intense activity and being able to observe these people going about their Sunday morning, working hard, it's inherently interesting. So whatever I'm looking at, whatever you are looking at, <laughs> it's just so interesting and it's worthy of being captured. Or maybe I'm just making no sense to you. <laughs> But I think I'm kind of making sense, to some extent at least in my head, that all this is just so intense and so energetic and so interesting that I'm, I'm loving this. So yeah, I, I hope you're feeling the same under my umbrella. <laughs> and I think we are pretty much at the end of this road which means we are very close to Khari Bauli. All right, so all good things have to end even if that means <laughs> with a bad proverb and this walk, this very unusual walk of ours 
rainy walk of ours is ending as well. We are right at the door of Khari Bauli, but we've not yet entered. Yeah, we'll explore Khari Bauli in the next one. <laughs> but for this one, I hope you've enjoyed walking with me. And yeah, I'll catch you again soon. Take care. Bye.